the Houston Astros, leading 21 in the Bistoffive series, meet the Boston Red Sox in Game 4 of an American League Division Series on Monday, October 9, 2017 10,917 at Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. The Red Sox won Game 3, 103, to stave off elimination. Well have up to them a new scoring and stats here throughout the game. Check the scoreboard above and click on the stats link. App users for the best mobile experience, use the mobile web version. Here is the AP recap of the game Boston AP Justin Verlander outpitched Chris Sale in a relief role reversal of aces, and the Houston Astros advanced to their first AL Championship Series, rallying past the Boston Red Sox 54 Monday in Game 4 of their playoff matchup. Houston will open the Alks on Friday, either at Cleveland or at home against the New York Yankees. The Indians held a 21 edge over the Yankees going into Game 4 of the AL Division Series on Monday night. With Verlander and Sale the Game 1 starters both pressed into relief, the Astros prevailed to win the All-31. Alex Bregman homered off Sale to tie it in the 8th and Josh Reddick hit an RBI single off closer Craig Kimbrell later in the inning. The Astros last reached the league championship series in 2005 as a National League and were swept in the World Series by the White Sox. Here's what you need to know who Houston Astros vs. Boston Red Sox what alls, Game 4 win Monday, October 9, 2017 where Fenway Park, Boston Time 1 p.m. Eastern TV FS1 live stream Fox Sports go a look at what's happening all around the majors today day game it is the Red Sox and Astros left Fenway Park on Sunday night not knowing what time they'd play Game 4. They were scheduled to start at 108 p.m. EDT unless Cleveland finished off the Yankees in Game 3 of their odds later Sunday. New York capped a 10 victory around 11 p.m. EDT, setting up an afternoon game. That is, of course, assuming the rain in the forecast holds off. We've been watching the Weather Channel for a couple of months now, said Astros manager A.J. Hinch, whose team was forced to play a home series in Tampa Bay in August when Hurricane Harvey flooded Houston. So that's not unusual for us. Reigning Al Cy Young Award winner Rick Porcello is set to face Houston's Charlie Morton with the Astros up 21 in the series. Why Yanks will win rally to win odds a year, after leading the league with 22 wins, Porcello had a 4.65 ERA and a league leading 17 losses. He pitched a scoreless inning in Houston's 82 win in Game 1. Morton has yet to pitch in the series. He was 147 with a 3.62 ERA in the regular season. The right guy Zach Greinke will attempt to save Arizona's season when he faces his former teammates with the Dodgers, who counter with Latessis in acquisition U Darvish for Game 3 of their NLDS. The Diamondbacks have been battered by Los Angeles deep lineup while falling in 0-2 hole with 678 hitters Logan Forsyth. Austin Barnes and Yaciel Pugh doing the bulk of the damage in an 85-game-2 victory. Greinke was 177 with a 3.20 ERA this season, his second since signing a $206.5 million six-year contract after leaving LA in free agency. If you've got to pick one guy to stop this situation we're in, I think we've found the right guy in Zach Greinke, Diamondbacks manager Tori Lovello said Saturday. Bauer power Trevor Bauer will start on three days rest as the Indians try to eliminate the Yankees in Game 4 of their odds in New York. The 17-game winner pitched into the seventh of a 40-game one victory, and manager Terry Francona should have virtually his entire bullpen available if needed. Luis Severino will start for the Yankees, who trailed 21 in the Bistoffive series. Severino got only one out in the Owl wild card game against Minnesota last Tuesday, but New York's lineup and bullpen bailed him out. Rain is also in the New York forecast Monday. Lefty guessing Cubs manager Joe Madden hinted Sunday that he might play musical chairs with his lineup against Washington right-hander Max Scherzer for their pivotal NLDS Game 3. Madden called Scherzer oppressively difficult versus right-handed hitters, so Hess hoping to add another lefty to the lineup. He didn't reveal much more. 
could the lefty surprise be reserve infielder Tommy La Stella, who is 3 for 6 homer, triple, double against Scherzer, or rookie Ian Happ, a switch hitter who also can play second? How about veteran John Jay, who has played all over the outfield, or maybe none of the above? It guess Kyle Schwarber, Washington manager Dusty Baker volunteered. The Associated Press contribute to this report. Todrick Hunt may be reached at thunt at njadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Todrick Hunt. Find nj.com Rutgers Football on Facebook.